We have been talking about the water cycle in science and yesterday we did the raining cloud experiment. So I wanted to share with you guys how we did it. This experiment was so much fun, easy prep, easy cleanup, and my kids had a blast. All you're going to need is a clear plastic cup, some shaving cream, and food coloring. First step is filling your cup with water. I like filling it almost to the top, but leaving just a little bit of space so you have room for your cloud. Then we put the shaving cream on top. You don't want to do too much because then you get a big cloud and the thicker the cloud, the more drops it takes for our rain to come through. So I just put a little bit like that and there's going to be space around it and you're going to want to use your finger and just kind of spread the cloud out. The students actually really like this part because they get to touch the shaving cream and I think that's really cool. Once you have spread your cloud out, this is what it should be looking like. No holes or gaps in the top and just a thin layer there. Now it's time to add the food coloring and watch your cloud rain. A couple drops will do, but while we're doing this, we talk about how when the precipitation goes up into the air, it obviously gathers in the clouds and the clouds keep gathering and gathering just like when we're adding these food dye, it's gathering and gathering moisture. And then when it can't hold any more moisture, it starts to rain. And so if you can see, our cloud has officially filled up with enough moisture that it is beginning to rain. Guys, mine is starting to rain. Mine is starting to rain. Look at mine shorter. I don't see none behind y'all. Like, 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 I don